So let's talk about this. So who in the world would not want someone to have the money that they need to live? So I watched the whole hearing and funnily enough, it wasn't the bankers, the millionaires, the landlords who were showing up in opposition. It was a bunch of ordinary people. And it made me realize why would the billionaires and the landlords show up to oppose something like guaranteed income if they could just have us do the work for them? Like, they have these people so convinced that other poor people are the enemy and not the people who are actually causing them to not be able to afford what they need in life. Here's just one example of opposition testimony. You know, it's kind of ironic because I probably could benefit from the bill in a personal capacity because I make under 200% of the poverty level and I'm on SSI, I'm disabled. But I also understand that there's no such thing as a free lunch. And it's so frustrating seeing people advocate against themselves because it's like, sis, you're on the wrong side. You were almost there. You were almost there. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the panel in favor of GBI was very diverse, whereas every single person who testified against guaranteed basic income was a white woman. Because these rich white people have other white people so convinced that the enemy is other poor people, more undeserving poor people, often black and brown poor people. And I just really want to tell this lady, like, there is such a thing as a free lunch. It's why we're in this hearing right now. So this is just a reminder, if you are struggling, that the money that is not in your pocket is not going into the pockets of other people who also don't have any money. It's going into the pockets of the people who are working very hard to convince you that it is. So if you live in Washington state, let's support things like a guaranteed basic income, things like the wealth tax as they're making their way through our state legislature this year.